Hey, Sammy friends. Welcome to the Joyous Camp with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and today is Fun Fold Friday. Today, it's going to be a ode to the in colors that will be leaving us this year and will leave us in May. And then also using some amazing dyes will also be retiring in this upcoming month. Go and hold my flip and we'll get started. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that's gonna hold. My stand's been played with way too many times lately and so hopefully it's not too wiggly for us. Welcome, welcome if you're a first time watcher of my channel. Um, I'm Rachel Kuhn and I have a huge joy of stamping up products. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and have an online store. So if you want to shop from me, just visit my um, store there. Um, today is Fun Fold Friday, which means I will share a fun fold design with you. But then also when you comment between now and midnight, um, either on YouTube or on Facebook, I will send you, um, you can possibly win the card of the, 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 of the day that we are making in the video. Sorry, I'm stumping over my words. It's been a while since I've done a Facebook Live, so I apologize. Um, let me go ahead and just talk about this card a little bit, um, and why I made it. So these are four embossing folders that will be leaving us. I have the Into the Clouds, the Gigum, the Brick, one and also the beehive one those are all will be retiring a lot of them are super duper discounted so be sure to check my online store to see the actual discount price in your area and then we're using these beautiful dies these are called the brilliant wing dies and sure i'm saying it right yes brilliant wing dies which is a butterfly set and it comes with these amazing um super detailed butterfly and it's more like an outline of the butterfly so it's Two, two butterflies in one. Let me kind of show you this die. I love this one. I just made lots of projects with this. In fact, for my Easter kids at school, um, this is the outline of the butterfly. It was great. I was able to make <laughs> over 80 uh, butterflies using this die. And then also, if you want a little bit more detail, these are the ones that coordinate with these. So you can kind of see how they match up. So we can get that. Yeah, there we go. That matches with that one. And this guy goes with that one. So if you want more detail, this originally was $44. Right now, as a last chance deal, it is only $17.60 in the US and is only while supplies last. So if you are seeing this video, hop on over to my online store, see if it's still available and add it to your cart. All right. So let's get our pieces out for our card. Oh, let me show you what's a fun fold. And this card, I'm going to be changing up a little bit. I made this this morning and I was like, I like it, but I don't love it. So we're going to play with our design in our video today. I don't use any stamps at all, just embossing folders and dies and paper. And then this one is fun because it does go ahead and open up to a fun little twist. And then with our butterfly here, it kind of stands that way. So this is a fun easel card with a twist and we'll show you how we make that today i'm using the retiring evening evergreen as our card base here and i have three score lines so i have it scored at the five and a half and then i went down from this corner up that's four inches and then from the four inch score i went at a diagonal for that one let's go ahead and get this and all ready to go this is one of our in colors we are saying goodbye to there's five in colors and four of them are leaving. We have one that will, re will be returning, which is super exciting. So I'm gonna grab my bone folder and I'm just gonna go over these score lines, like so. And then we have this last one right here, which is this triangle one. And use your bone folder on that too. I like this butterfly because it's just scream spring to me. And I like that I kept it with no stamping, I could use it for any occasion. This could be a birthday card, it could be a hello card, it could even be a baby card if I wanted to. It could be anything I want it to be. All right, so that's our card base. Next, we're gonna grab, this is my change out. So this one I had a basic white. I'm gonna use this evening evergreen and I'm gonna just make it a little bit smaller for our pieces we'll put on. And I have these four pieces of embossed. That's the pale papaya, polished pink, Soft succulent and our evening evergreen. And these are our retiring in colors. The one color that's staying is that light purple, which is a fresh freesia, which 
came out also with these ones. Okay, so we're gonna play with that and we'll glue those on. Let me grab my liquid glue. I love, love embossing folders and you can just see how much texture is added just to the paper without me doing any inking, any stamping, just transforming the paper. I know a lot of people are gonna be sad about this brick one. I do wanna tell you there is a new brick one coming. It's kinda of like a grunge brick, I think is what it's called because it has the brick spaces and then it has some empty spaces. So it's pretty cool. I am excited for that one. And then this is that gingham. That one's been pretty popular. And that's the polished pink. We're gonna say goodbye to that one. And then our soft succulent. This one was kind of was sad to go. It kind of was like the mint macaroon. And those ones are both retiring. Stampin' Up's also doing a color refresh. They do that every so often. As you know, colors have a lifespan. <laughs> If you were to go back to like the 70s and you look at the colors that everyone was wearing or like even in like our dishes, if you have someone that has like Tupperware from the 70s, you can totally tell because of the colors. And so that's why Stamping Up does the refreshers. That's why we every two years we get new ink colors because color fads are constantly changing. All right. Here's that piece there. So it's ready to attach. Let's grab our cute butterfly. I have the basic black. And then we have our basic white. I actually use a thick white for this one just to make sure it was a little bit more um, sturdy for us. And then I die cut out a little basic white circle just to attach our butterfly to. What we wanna do is kind of um, fold this guy up just a little bit so carefully to make his two wings touch, but he's bent. And let's grab a glue dot, which, there we go. I had handy, but then I always am losing. Grab a glue dot, we're gonna find it on the piece here. We're gonna put the paper to the dot and press down with both of our fingers on the top one on bottom and that should create an easy peel off. There we go. Then we're gonna attach that to our basic white butterfly there. Oh, look how pretty that is. Let me get closer so you can kind of see. I just love, love that. I'm totally digging the black and white kind of so you can see more of that paper and that this isn't um, the focus, but it's like still gorgeous, which I love. All right, basic white. This is gonna go in the inside here, and also we're gonna open this up. Either use your Stamping Seal Plus or your tear tape. Hey, Phyllis, she said she's catching me live. I know, I usually go in the morning. I had a busy morning, and so we just went ahead and decided to bump it until the afternoon. So I'm glad you can catch me live, Phyllis. All right, so a little bit of adhesive there behind that score to score. Then I like to put one in each corner and then a little bit in the center. You don't need this Stampin' Steel Plus all over. It is super sticky. And so a little bit goes a long way. All right, there's those pieces. Make sure we put that on good. Now though, I do wanna use some tear tape right here. Let's grab it. I'm jumping all over the place. I should have finished this whole piece that I went over to our, our card base. That's okay. Tear tape. Just need to go on the bottom sign of our diagonal score right here. Make sure you, that you don't have the tear tape going too far along these edges because those will um, not be covered. Okay, let's keep that right there for a hot minute. I could put probably even one more. Just make sure it's extra super duper stuck there go. Okay, now let's go ahead and finish this one. Put a bit, a little bit of liquid glue on this circle. And then we're going to add a dimensional to the back of our um, butterfly here. And it's up to you what way you want your butterfly to fly. You want to keep in mind this is going to twist. So if I put it this way, when we go to stand it up, it's going to be at an angle. So I kind of like it to be at an angle to start off with. So not to have it centered when we have it there. Cute. Go ahead and remove the backings of our tear tape now. This should be just about ready. Oh, there we go. You guys will have to let me know which in color that's leaving right now is your most favorite. And again, those supplies are all only wall. They last. 
stepping up is not going to make any more. So if you are like, oh, I really wanted that cardstock, it could potentially be sold out. Okay, now we're going to just kind of hover it over this just so we can see an outline on the top and the bottom. There we go, looking good. Cute. I see, I'm already liking this one way better than this one. And it's just because we took away that white background. And I switched up however my color shades went. Both are super cool though. All right, lastly, we just need to do some embellishing. And we need to add one more little black butterfly there. I'm using also retiring the 2021-2023 in color opal rounds. These ones will actually match our colors, which is pretty awesome. That's one of my favorite things about Stamping Up is how they have products will coordinate their colors. So we have some of this guy, and we're just going to put them anywhere. I'm trying to do matching to matching a little bit. This one I did a little bit of a light one with a dark one, so you could do that if you want as well. The goal is usually to have at least five of them. There we go. Super, super cute. Loving that. Okay, so now we want to be able to turn this to twist it. So now it looks like the butterfly is flying in that direction. And we're going to put a dimensional on the back of this guy. I have some mini black ones, which matches it perfectly. I'll put that right there. I'm going to hold it in this position so I know where I want to put my little guy. I'm going to put him right about here. So that way he'll hold or easel in that stance when he's there. But then we can unstick them, twist it back down, and it can ship flat and nice to our friends. Isn't that super fun and beautiful card? I am just really loving those embossing folders there. Be sure to grab those before those are gone as well. Let me know which one you like better. We have that beautiful big butterfly and a little bit smaller one there. All right, you guys, that's it for Funful Friday. I hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend and happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.